Hello and welcome to episode 151 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on looking at all the new pavements that the recent update 1.3.5.5 which was released in... Um, Days ago. <laughs> yes, thank you, Rainstorm, in May 2017, just for those of you that watch this episode in the future. So this is going to cover the different pa pavement types that you can now make, um, especially with a new material that you can now make them out of, and I'm going to show you all of that. But first, say hello, Rainstorm. Hi, everyone. Rainstorm here. <laughs> Yeah, she couldn't stop laughing now I could hear that I could hear it in the background of your voice anyway so let's start first of all by showing you the larder this is week three in real time so three weeks ago I made a larder and I put some food and some snowballs in it and it was winter outside and that's how I managed to get the snowballs so let's take a look at how much damage if any the food and the snowballs have now got so we'll open it up and let's first look at the food. Drum roll. There you go. So the maple ice cream still hasn't taken a single bit of damage. And this is three weeks. That's like 21 days later in real time. Same for the meat sausages. Not a single bit of damage. And what about the snowballs? I hear you y'all ask. So if we open that up, you will see that I've lost two snowballs. So I've still got 98 because remember there's 97 there and the rare so 98 I've still got so I've just used two snow snowballs in three weeks if we look at the damage how I normally do it so we'll put the damage to the top you can see that uh, oh wait a minute no I need to do it once more you can see that the highest damage I've got is 70 nearly 77 so that snowball snowball uh, undoubtedly will uh, disintegrate in the next week um, but we're still doing very good 98 snowballs out of 100 after three weeks I think is just really quite fantastic especially if we scroll down here you'll see that all these snowballs have hardly taken any damage at all and all the way down so the minimum amount of damage is only six uh, but that is a 99 quality. But then having said that, there's a 99 quality and it's taken 8 and 9 damage. So you can't really go on the quality level. Um, but you see here, the snowballs will easily last you. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you is, and thank you to Rainstorm for reminding me about showing the snowballs. I always go to forget, especially with the beehives as well. Um, but thankfully, Rainstorm always reminds me. So next we're going to take a look at the hives, because there's something new to show you. And once we've done that, Rainstorm's going to teleport me, and we're going to crack on with the pavements, the new pavements, that is. I'm also going to be showing the existing um, pavement, so we're also going to look at the the brick, the pottery brick, and the, the floorboards, and also just the regular stone, just to show in comparison to the new um, pavements. So first of all though, let's look at what's happened, the development with my beehives. So the original wild hive is up in that tree. Here's my first domestic hive, which remember became active um, because I got a second queen from the wild hive, uh, which then went into this domestic hive. And since then, this domestic hive also became active, which as you will remember, means that there's two queens in there. So Rainstorm very kindly built another domestic hive over here. And guess what? That's now got a bee, queen bee in it. So I've now got two domestic hives with, um, oh no, wait a minute, I haven't got no, um, I haven't got my smoker with me, so I'm not gonna open that, because I haven't even got this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get stung, and then the rest of this episode, as I'm doing the paving, I'm slowly dying from a sting. So I won't do that, but trust me when I say, well, you can see it's moving back and forth. Um, so you know there's a queen in there, also because it says active, remember? So that and, means there's and a queen. They both have honey. They both have honey. Oh, do they? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, so there we go, getting lots of honey and everything. Okay, and, so. And, sorry, and go on. During the last week. Tutorial Island now has a wild beehive. Yay! Ah, excellent. Yep. <laughs> One spawned. Yeah, there you go. So you can start accumulating honey as well. 
Right, I'm so ready. You... Ready when you ready? are. So... Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. What was you going to say? I was going to say, are you ready to come over? <laughs> <laughs> See, great minds do truly think alike, do they not? Here you go. Thank you. You're right in front of the mind, so just turn around. <laughs> okay, so that's all of the things with the larder and the hives. Next let's look at the mineable resources you will need for your new paving so we're going to go into the mine and rainstorm is going to guide me to the three precious resources that you're going to use and in... luckily they're all right next to each other yes this is a lovely mine you've done i do like it, it looks Thank just you. like moria well speaking of I now because of all the changes they made, I get to make Moria now. Yay! Yeah, yes, yeah, so that'd be a good episode in the future. I'm yep. sure. But I gotta get this island done first. Yeah, you certainly have. It's getting there, it's almost done. Yeah. Well sorta, of, yeah. So here of course is what marble looks like for those of you that don't know what marble looks like because you can't find it. <laughs> yeah, so when you're down mining in your mines and you come across, it may not, it depends on what your, uh, let's look at the skills, it depends on your prospecting as to whether when you hover over it it'll tell you marble. But remember if you double left click on a tile if you're not sure of what it is, it'll tell you down here. Um, it will give you the basics. Uh, the higher your prospecting gets, the more details it will give you. Um, so there's marble there. You can see the texture um, of it. And, and just FYI, rock salt looks very similar to marble. Oh, so does don't it? get excited thinking you've got marble in your mind, it turns out it's rock salt. <laughs> Unless, of course, they want to make a rock salt pavement. <laughs> yeah. So okay. over here is what the new sandstone looks like. So here's the new resource for making your paving, which is sandstone. Yeah, double click on that. You'll see down here a vein of sand-sized minerals or rock grains composed of quartz or feldspar because these are the most common minerals in the worm's crust. So there you go, shouldn't be difficult for any of you to find sandstone. And that's what it looks like. Okay. And we, and we lucked out, we have seven uh, veins of it in here. Cool, yeah, you did. Yeah. You did luck out. Yeah, and we've got all different quality types, so we looked out there too. Now, we don't have very many marble, and this is my only slate vein. So. Okay, so here we have slate. So you can see marble, sandstone, and slate. They are free materials now that you're going to be making your paving out of. Um, in the next few episodes, in fact, um, Rainstorm and me are going to be demonstrating a lot of the new things that you can make. I'm not going to give away what they are, but we're going to proceed, continue how we proceed in this episode. So this episode's about paving. And that's the free materials. Right, okay, so where are we off to next, Rainstorm? Into the area where we're going to put all the paving samples. Ah, oh, right, okay. Now, um, marble has been around, but they have a new version. And slate has been around, but it's a new version. So in the past, we had marble slabs and slate, um, the slate slabs. The slate slabs looked like brick before, and a marble slab just looked like a marble slab. So, But now there's two, um, actual slate slabs <laughs> that look like slate slabs, and um, marble brick. <laughs> and you, we're going to show what they look like. Yeah. It's all right talking about it, but we also like to do it. And looking at the... Um, See, because this is the slate brick that's been down here, and it looks like it has a new texture to it. I'm not mm. crazy it, but oh well. <laughs> okay, here you go. You can start right here and then pave all the way up that way. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do is go through all the different paving that you've got in Worm, and we'll be taking a look at some of the new ones, and then we can compare them all side by side, and we can even test out the speed of them. How about that? So, starting off, then, first one is going to be rough cobblestone. Now, it used to be with rough cobblestone, what did you use to make them out of uh, rainstorm? Just, 
Just a um, brick. Just brick. But now, Stop. now you have to use Colossus bricks. So what I'm going to do? Let's pick this up and let's bring up my skills. I can't remember what my paving's at. So in the past, with the um, with the brick, when you were paving, you had three options. You can use the rough cobblestone, round cobblestone, or just regular cobblestone from a brick. Now it's they're all different. Yeah, that's right. They they changed, haven't they? The way it's done. So now you simply activate your colossus brick. Uh, the tile needs to be packed. So let's mention something important about that first of all. Of all of these different materials that I'm about to show you. They are all packed dirt that you must uh, lay your paving down on, except for... You're almost there. <laughs> Here we go, except for the floorboards. The floorboards, remember, you must, must put down on just dirt. Okay, so you're going to see that. Uh, that they're going to go on just dirt. How come you left the last tile as grass? There was no grass there. Oh, it's grown since. Okay, let me just sort that out. Wow, really? Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right, let's now dig, and um, cultivate, I should there. say. <laughs> okay, so yeah, remember when using floorboards, it needs to be dirt. With all these others, you're going to notice it's all um, packed dirt. So right, now I shall start. Good job I can carry a lot because I'm carrying that Colossus brick. So you activate your Colossus brick after packing the dirt tile and then just right click and pave. And why did you not show them how to make a Colossus brick this time? Because? Oh yeah, because I've already shown them in the uh, when I made a Colossus cunningly enough in the first episode of that, which was... Wow, that was about uh, my subscriber episode, wasn't it? A thousand subscribers. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there we go with that. Anyway, so I'm going to click pave. Notice you've got still the pave nearest corner, but I'm going to just do pave. Thank you. <laughs> and there we go. So that looks very much like how it used to look, doesn't it, Rainstorm? It looks exactly like it used to look. It's just now it requires a colossus brick to make instead of a regular brick. There you go. Right, thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this next one is going to be round cobblestone. So, first of all, let's show you how to make round cobblestone because I've not done that before. So, let's just pick up the rock shard. Okay, to make round cobblestone, which is what, or rounded, I should say, to make rounded cobblestone, and you can see it there, uh, you activate it. Oh, wait a minute, you activate your stone chisel, I should say. And then you right click on the rock shard, create construction material, and you can see you've got their rounded stone. And you can see that uh, my masonry is nice and high, because these are all 99 at the bottom. So we'll click that. That's now got me the rounded stone. If I activate that, right click on the packed dirt, pave, and pave. And there is a different look to the round stone versus a brick. It's very similar. I mean, the, to me, the round stone looks like a brick, but if you put a brick next to that round stone, they do look different. Yeah, I like the round stone as opposed to the rough cobblestone. I think I prefer the round stone. A lot easier to make as well. Um, because with the Colossus bricks, that's a Colossus amount of stone you're going to need. Right, okay, so <laughs> that's the round cobblestone. Next, let's take a look at the regular cobble cobblestone. And you see the brick, it, I mean, it looks the same shape as the round stone, it's just a different texture. Yeah, so they look, uh, they look very, very similar. Okay, so we're going to activate the stone brick, right click on the packed dirt tile, pave and pave, away we go, and there we go. So there you've got just a cobblestone pave pavement, and there's your rough cobblestone, so you can see the distinct differences. This really is good now for people being able to make all different types of uh, settlements. Anything you want to add to the cobblestone? 
No. Although I think we've shown that, haven't we? Okay, next then we've got the pottery brick. And I've shown how to make pottery bricks previously when I've done the paving, so let's just show you the new texture. So I'm going to take the brick, activate it, right click pack dirt, pave and pave. And this is a new texture. Yeah, and you can see straight away, look at that. I really like that. Yeah, that really does look like a pottery bricked pavement, in fact. They've done that very well. Hmm. Remember, to make a pottery brick, I'll just quickly mention it, you make a clay brick and then put it in your kiln. And then that will get you your pottery brick. Okay, next, we've got the marble brick. So, that's what the marble brick looks like. Let's now make one. So you need some marble shards. Activate your stone chisel. Right click on your marble shard. Create and marble brick. Okay, activate your marble brick, right click the packed dirt, pave and left click. Now doesn't that look nice? See straight away when I see marble I'm thinking that you'll be able to do some ancient um, Greek Island. I don't know, it'd be really nice all that marble, don't you think, Brainstorm? I agree, especially they have the um, columns and things like that. Yeah, oh, that'd be, it's just so nice. That's my favourite, I think, paving. Anyway, moving on then. So next, that was the marble brick. Next, let's look at the marble slab. And I put the marble shards on the hill here so that you can make a um, Let's just slab. drop. While Rainstorm's not looking, I'm going to quickly drop all the junk in my pocket. Oh. Right, she won't see my it. My island there. into your island, huh? <laughs> Right, okay, next then we're going to look at the marble slab. You see how I moved that along there quickly? Uh, right, so the marble slab. In order to make that, and thank you Rainstorm for gathering up the shards for me beforehand. So let's take them. Remember you need, I would say, a minimum of 100 kilograms pointed out by Rainstorm because if you fail, hey, hey. if you fail, it might use a little bit of it up in damage. So let's just combine this. Was it 88? Um, it's what you need to make it, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so that's all combined into 100 kilograms. Activate my stone chisel, right click, create, construction materials marble slab and there we go and that's what a marble slab looks like it actually like rainstorm said looks just like a marble slab so we'll activate our marble slab right click on the packed dirt pave and pave so gamester do you have any um, pieces of that marble rock shard left in um, your pocket yeah. In the pocket, yep. right click on it and say discard. Oh, and it destroy it. Yes. Oh, I never seen that before. It's Although I'm sure it's been there. It has. I just didn't want you dropping it on the ground anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you weren't looking, never mind. Right, so you see the <laughs> you see the difference between the marble slab flooring, paving, and the marble bricks. So now in the future, should y'all wake up one morning and say to yourselves, I'm going to make myself some marble paving. The only trouble is, I don't know whether I want to make marble brick paving or marble slab paving. And then you're going to say to yourself, oh yes, of course, I shall watch the Gamesters episode on that and then I'll know exactly what the difference between them looks like. And then that way I can make an informed decision. And the marble brick um, paving looks very similar to the marble bridges now, so... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I like both the textures, though. Um, yep. They both look nice. So, yeah, marble's good. Now there's a very good reason to go and empty your minds of all of the marble nodes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, finally, that's right. Okay, next we move on to slate. And we're going to do a slate brick. So that's what a slate brick looks like. Let's take this slate and activate our stone chisel, right click, create construction material and slate brick. 
we're going to activate our slate brick right click the packed dirt pave and left click pave now doesn't that look gorgeous right next side right next to the marble that really does look good you can do like a checkered paving even couldn't you yeah I do like the look of the slate and I do like the marble and I think they look especially good together the yin and the yang anyway right so enough waffle on that next we're going to do the slate slab and there is a slate slab cunningly enough it looks just like one which is good so it's up the hill <laughs> yeah here yeah. thank you again rainstorm for gathering the shards for me so let's take them okay let's now combine them again you need 88 now that we have that we activate our stone chisel right click on the shards and create construction material and slate slab activate our slate slab right click the pack dirt pave and pave and there we go and there is the difference let's get rid of my skills window there's the difference between the two types of slate slate brick and slate slabs although the slabs look look more like a roof don't they no the tiling no. on a roof no no okay all right that's just my weird and wonderful imagination but anyway there's a slate slab right moving on next we've got sandstone brick so this is a new resource into the world of worm with this new update there's a sandstone brick let's pick up the char activate our chisel right click create construction material sandstone brick let's activate that right click pave and pave there we go there's sandstone that looks really good that looks just like a brick paving I like that let's discard some of this stuff yeah doesn't that look nice the uh, brick one I think it does yeah hmm. okay so that's the, the um, sandstone brick next let's look at the sandstone slab and you'll see it's got an actual pattern in it and that's the pattern that was in the um, houses for the stone slab but they've converted it now to the sandstone slab I and see. there's um, that pile up there is the rock shards for, or the sandstone rock shards um, they haven't updated the graphics to, for a pile yet so it looks like a box instead of a pile of rocks oh I see yeah I'll just take them all well you'll need them <laughs> yeah right okay so let's make ourselves a sandstone slab again we're going to combine them first of all minimum of 88 kilograms I'm guessing combine activate right click on the pack dirt wait a minute didn't I activate it or oh, I might need to get a bit closer no it's not working on this one you made a slab oh no losing it losing the plot so <laughs> <coughs> activate the chisel right click on the sandstone well I had to go south at some point and there you go right create construction material and sandstone slab and there we have one so let's activate that now right click and pave I'm so glad you're with it rainstorm I don't know where I'd have went with that okay so there we go look at that doesn't that look cool? Yeah, yeah, it looks like the old slab floors and the houses, but I, I'm i glad they changed it to sandstone. Yeah, it looks rustic, doesn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm glad they, you can make it as paving materials now. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, which is... A just regular, a stone. yeah, a regular stone slab, which I have done in the past, but let's just do it again. Now I've made one already before, so I figured I'll just uh, put one down, mm -hmm. just pave with it. So let's activate it, right-click and pave. 
just so you can compare what it looks like with the rest so we got a comparison okay next we've got the gravel so let's take the rock shards activate them right click and pave okay so that looks slightly different they have up they changed all the textures I'm sure they look slightly different anyway let's next then take a look at floorboard paving so I'm going to grab the floorboards remember that this must be just dirt not packed dirt activate the floorboards right click and lay boards over dirt and you made those when we were racing the tar above water yeah wow all that time ago which seems yeah. like an eternity okay and lastly we have floorboards with the addition of some tar okay so again it needs to be just dirt let's pick up the tar and the floorboards same again activate your floorboards right click lay floorboards over dirt activate the tar right click and tar okay rainstorm tell us all what benefits adding the tar gives to this well, one it changes it to a darker color yeah <laughs> And I, other than that, I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm sure it used to be that it would rot much slower. Slower. With the addition yeah. of the tar. Whether that's uh, been changed or not, I I will assume that it hasn't. So I will say that if you apply your tar to your floorboards, it'll last longer. Yeah, it'll last longer without taking damage. So let's now take a run over all these different floorboards, and we'll keep an eye on my speedometer. Yeah. Let's well, see if remember, I'm... you're going to be going downhill and uphill, so it's going oh, to... Oh, true, so it won't be an accurate... Uh... But you can still see. So, anyway, I'm guessing they're all 17, anyway. It would be interesting, though, if they set them to different speeds, because uh, then you could set up traps and stuff. Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, like the tar traps and the... <laughs> yeah. That would add a really good element to the game. Anyway, so here we go. Look at this. All the different paving that you can now make. Isn't this wonderful? Because this just adds to all the customization that you can now do to all your settlements. And the areas where you... And especially on your own servers, you can like have whole themed areas now. Like you can have an ancient Greek area. Or maybe start building some pyramids and have your own ancient Egypt. Yeah. And one of the other things that I do with these slabs, because they don't have paving stones, you know, like when you're at home, you want little stepping stones, well, they don't have that, so I just lay the slabs down on top of the grass and use that as like a, um, a stepping stone. Oh, it I see. Mm. Yeah, it's laying on top. Mm. Wish yeah. they were about half the size, though. Yeah, they are very big, aren't they, these slabs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, is there anything that you'd like to add to all of my waffle over pavements? No, I think I've uh, waffled on enough too. <laughs> okay. well, let's hope they've all got some um, honey. Syrup? You have, oh, syrup, that's right. Syrup? Yes. Mm -hmm. Syrup, yeah. Maple well, syrup. Let's hope you've, they've all got plenty of syrup. Anyway then, so if you would like to say your goodbyes, I'll say the outro. Goodbye everyone, have a great day. Okay, thank you very much Rainstorm for gracing me with your presence and giving me your time and help with this episode and thank you for all the other episodes you've uh, helped make with me. For the rest of you, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye. <laughs>